Hey YouTubers, if this is your first time joining us, we are our vacationer. I'm Wayne. I'm Norma. We travel the U.S. and Canada in our motorhome. We are traveling during the summers and several weeks during the rest of the year. We went on a Savannah hop on hop off trolley tour and we wanted to share that with you. We thought it was fascinating. It was a fantastic way to learn a little bit about the area. It's a, uh, it'd be like going to the buffet and taking one taste of everything. You know, you know a little bit about it, but not a whole lot about it. So we had a great time and we want to share that video with you. Uh, the shuttle bus actually came to the KOA campground and picked us up, which was wonderful. So we didn't have to worry about parking, driving in the traffic. We just got off when we wanted to, got back on, looked around as long as we wanted to, and just had a really nice day. Met some friends on the bus as we were getting there. There was another couple from our home state, Alabama. Uh, they rode with us and then we stopped at a hotel to pick up another uh, couple. And they were from Hershey, Pennsylvania, which is where we went this summer through Hershey and Gettysburg to get to Canada this summer. So we had a lot in common with them. And we had eaten dinner with them the night before at and, a restaurant. Yeah, we didn't realize so, it. They saw yeah. us at the restaurant the night before and, and remembered us from that. Really small nice small world. The RV community is actually a small mm -hmm. world. We're scattered all over the place, but it's a small world and we love it. All right, we're coming to the uh, store to catch the bus. It was $30 per person to have an all-day hop-on, hop-off bus tour of Savannah. That picks us up at the campground. Say that again? They pick us up at the campground. We don't have to drive. Good morning. Uh, it's a little cool, 69, no, I'm sorry, 39 degrees, supposed to get up to 63 today. Sorry for the noise, they're cleaning up the area. I see a tip tip hat up there. So oh, is it? Uh, yep. That looks like a strong hint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Make good friends on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> same, same with you guys. Yeah, wave, wave at YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right inside is the car barn. You'll check in right here under this tent with Miss Sarah Cruz. Once again, we ask that you be back to this car barn between 4 and 4 15 to catch the last and only shuttle back out to Richmond Hill. Now, just so happen that all y'all get back a little early as a group, everyone together, you will leave back out early. That's only if everybody come back together at one. Okay. So that's totally up to you. But 4, 4, 15 is the only and last shuttle to Richmond Hill. And I'm your driver, Lisa, so you'll get off here. All right, we're at the Old Town Trolley Tours. A lot of people checking in at the uh, tent there. We're in the downtown area of Savannah. Y'all have a good day. Y'all too. I don't think so. We're just gonna. All right. Thank you.
So we're glad to have you here in Savannah with us. Are you excited to be here? Yes. Well, awesome. We're delighted to have you here. We're going to take off in just a few minutes. My relief will be coming in. And I do have a, a little heat on the trolley for those with the, you know, like, that like the open air. So if it gets too warm, just let me know. If it gets too cold, then you can just let me know. It's quite easy. All right, everyone, I know that you're excited to be in here in Savannah, Georgia. And well, what I want you to do at this time is make just a little bit of noise just to welcome Savannah in. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out just perfectly. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> well, my name is Cree. I will be your conductor. This is stop number one here at Visitor Center. We have 15 stops on this tour, and the trolleys run every 15 to 20 minutes for the stops. The whole time around is about an hour and 30 minutes, give or take, based on traffic or whatever else is happening in our historic district. Now, I want you to notice something else, too, as we ride around here in our historic district. Notice the iron work on a lot of the structures here. It was said at one time, the more iron you had around your homes back then here, the more wealthy you were said to have been. There's the open arm staircase in the front of the Parker's company, and it was said the men had to go up one side of the, well, of the staircase and the ladies up the other because the men were not allowed to see the ankles of the ladies back then. It was quite inappropriate. For John Forsyth, Secretary of State, during the administration of Andrew Jackson, in the middle of the park, a tall statue facing north is the Confederate soldier statue. He was placed there 10 years after the Civil War, commissioned by the wives and daughters of the fallen soldiers. They had him built in Canada out of what's called the Canadian sandstone. He wants to be shipped to the south without touching northern soil, they say. The Confederate and the Union soldiers both camped out in this very park, but of course not at the same time. There would have been another war back then here, perhaps. Did you know that it's tradition for statues of war to face their enemy? Well, I'm going to show you another statue of war called the Hiker. The Hikers, well, you might have heard about the Hikers. The Hiker statue is dedicated to the American troops that fought for Cuba during the Spanish-American War. And the hikers had to hike everywhere they went. The land was just so rough, they couldn't have horses where they were. As a result, it was in great shape. Now, here's the statue on the left, everyone, with the rifle in his hand. He looks real serious. The hikers were also known as Rough Riders, and Teddy Roosevelt was one of the Rough Riders. Here's the church on the left. James Pierpoint sung his Christmas song, started out being called One Horse Open Sleigh. The name of the song was changed 1859 to what? Does anyone know? Jingle Bells, yes. Well, that church is nicknamed by Jingle Bells Church here. And began 1753 to 1854. Well, look at some of the brick structures, these vaults. You know it said the vaults, some of them would house up to nine to ten family members all at once. And that some of the vaults go down as far as 25 feet deep. Now in the cemetery there's a great four column structure that's dedicated to Button Gwinnett in the center. So if you're walking back through you'll get a chance to see, you'll know what it is. Button Gwinnett was one of the signers for the Declaration of Independence. So here's a good look at the Pirates House. It's one of our oldest structures standing. 
excited. He's a pirate. <laughs> All right. Where did we just eat? All the beans. Yum, yum. What did you have? Chicken, pork chops, mac and cheese, sweet potatoes, cornbread, and a cheese biscuit. And banana pudding. What did you have? Peach cobbler. <laughs> and before that? Black ID. And chicken and chicken and pork chops and sweet potatoes. I didn't say everything <laughs> I ate. It was very good.